What's going on guys, this is Austin from 3GuysTech here to show you guys how to install the Windows 8 Developer Preview. They actually showed Windows 8 and the preview in their Microsoft Keynote they had a while back. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it here on VirtualBox on your PC. Now what I wouldn't advise is for you to install it over your current OS because this is in alpha, it's not even in beta yet. So I would definitely not recommend installing it over your main hard drive. What we're going to do is create a partition using virtual software. So first things first, let's open up our browser. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is download the actual Windows 8 preview. So what you're going to type in is Windows Dev Center. And it's going to be the first link, Microsoft. It's going to bring you to this development page right here. To download the preview, just click get started over download Windows developer preview now it comes with two versions you can either well three versions excuse me you can either get the Windows developer preview with developer tools we will not be needing that that's if you want to create software for it and different apps what we're gonna wanna get is the 64-bit version or the 32-bit version now the 64-bit version is 3.6 gigabytes while the 32-bit version is 2.8 gigabytes. I would actually recommend getting the 32-bit versions just for simplicity. Now, first of all, it's uh, it takes up less space on your hard drive and you are less likely to encounter compatibility issues. So let's go ahead and download this and it'll start downloading here. Now the next thing you guys are going to need after you download the actual preview itself, you're going to want to go to virtualbox.org. Now VirtualBox is free virtualiz virtualization software that you guys can use to run Windows 8 under. Now to download it, just go under Downloads and you can get the, um, the download from this page. Under VirtualBox Binaries, you'll see 4.1.2 for Windows Hosts and that's what you want to download. After you download that, you're going to want to install it. Once you install it, you might have to restart your computer, but once you install it, you'll see this icon on your desktop. So you're going to see Oracle VM VirtualBox. You're going to want to open this right now. And again, this is the program that we're going to be using to run the Windows 8 Developer Preview. In. Now, first things first, you're going to want to create a new virtual machine. So let's click New. It's going to say Welcome to the New Virtual Machine Wizard. Just click Next. Now. Here's what you want to do. The name, you can either type in Windows 8 or Windows 8 Preview. I'm going to go with Windows 8. Now, for the operating system, you want to keep it under Microsoft Windows. And for the version, you're going to click Windows 7. Now, I'm installing the 64-bit. If you have a 32-bit, you can go ahead and click the Windows 7 with no bit after it. So I'm going to go ahead and click the 64-bit version. This is an important part. Click the Windows 7, and then you're going to want to click Next base memory well the minimum requirements for windows 8 is that you have one gigabytes of ram for the 32-bit version and two gigabytes of ram for the 64-bit version i have eight gigabytes of ram on my computer so i'm going to go ahead with three gigabytes of ram so that's 3072 megabytes and going to go ahead and click next startup disk we're going to create a new startup disk so click next you're going to want to click keep it selected on the VDI this is a virtual box disk image now here you can either choose to have the uh, hard drive space dynamically allocated or at a fixed size the dynamically allocated size will expand the file to fit the needs of what you're installing so let's say you start out with 50 gigabytes it'll start you out with 50 gigabytes but say you need more space it'll expand over time to fit your needs for this sake, we're just going to go with a fixed size. Now, Windows 8 has a minimum requirement of 16 gigabytes, so you could either go with 20 gigabytes or around 25 gigabytes if you plan to use it. I'm going to go ahead with 25 gigabytes. Click Next and click Create. Now, this is going to take just uh, about 10. It depends on your uh, exact hardware, but it can take anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and fast forward this video, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Okay, so now it's just going to confirm the options and now you want to click create. So right here you can see you have the Windows 8 virtual machine. But we're not done yet. We still have to edit some settings. So go to settings. 
Now you're going to want to go to system right here. Make sure under this motherboard tab, you're going to want to make sure that enable IL APIC is checked. And this does not necessarily have to be checked. Under the processor tab, enable this right here. And you can set the number of processors you want the um, system to use. We can put two. Acceleration, both of these should be checked. Now, you want to go to under the um, display and under video, make sure that 2D acceleration is checked. That's an important part because your PC must support hardware virtualization for this to work. After all this is done, you want to want to click OK. We can add actually some more video memory. It won't make that much of a difference, but let's click OK. Now, here's when we're actually going to run it. First, storage. Under IDE controller, you'll see this empty disk icon. This is where you're going to mount your ISO file to. So you're going to want to click this. It's going to set up virtual CD. Click virtual CD. Now navigate to where you downloaded it to, most likely your download folder. And it should be right here. So now you're going to see right there the image size 3.64. That's for the 64 bit version. And now we can click OK. And we can start installing. Now you can see that it's just like a regular Windows 7 installation. It's going to start loading the files up. Now, what you're going to see, it's going to look just like the um, Windows 7 installation. That's just because they use the same format. Now here you'll see it looks just like Windows 7, but under here you'll see Microsoft Windows Developer Preview. Accept the license terms and then click Next. Now you can't really upgrade the uh, version of Windows since we don't have one, so we're going to go ahead and click Custom and install a new copy of Windows. Now right here you should see Disk 0 Unallocated Space, and you should see the um, amount of space you allocated. See I allocated 25 gigabytes, so that's what I see here, that's the free space. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and click next. So now you can go grab your popcorn and sit back and relax because it's going to take a pretty decent amount of time for it to install. So right now it's just going to basically be preparing all of the setup files. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through all of this. I think it's going to restart the computer about a couple, couple times and then you should be getting ready to get into the actual OS and setup. So now we are at the, uh, the start menu of Windows 8 and you should be able to run all of the apps from Windows 8. So there you have it. You can now use the Windows 8 developers preview. Now this can just give you a little sneak preview of what the beta is going to look like and what the actual OS is going to look like. If you like this video, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.